Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum, these astronauts get to come back to some fall foliage here in the uh, southern part of the country. That's right. In parts of the south, you can actually see the rocket kind of coming in last night as it made a uh, splash down around 930 or so uh, there just south of Pensacola, Florida. Now, of course, hard to see here. We're a little too far inland, but uh, it's going to be a beautiful day today. We will see some more high clouds coming in from time to time. 72 degrees sounds perfect outside to have lunch. Go find your favorite food truck here in town and enjoy lunch outdoors with 72 Tuscaloosa, 77. In Jasper. How about St. for Talladega, Alabaster and Clanton? Gadsden almost at 70 and Aniston to Asheville, Springville area, both sitting there at 73 degrees. Montgomery 74 met uh, down toward the uh, Mobile area there at 72 with Tallahassee as well. They got down to the 30s down there again this morning. Now high pressure kind of working its way through Atlanta toward Macon and working its way into parts of southern Georgia here next couple of days. It's allowing these high clouds from this front to kind of work its way closer to us. The front itself is going to kind of hang out just off to our northwest for now until this system out here in the west, that's going to move fairly quickly, kind of catch up with that one. Then the two of these will eventually sweep through the area here as we get into Thursday. Now they're going to increase the humidity a little bit, feeling a little more stickier on Thursday before the humidity drops back down as we get to the weekend. And it's the same time we can see that chance of rain ramping up to about 70% across the area too. So we are going to see some wet weather coming into play. Not today though. Things are dry 74 by 3 o'clock by dinner time. We're around 60 degrees temperatures fall into the mid 50s by 10 o'clock. Notice some of those high clouds continue to build in. That'll be the case. We get to tomorrow morning. Still chilly, but no 30s like we saw this morning. Then we'll have some sunshine tomorrow afternoon getting into around the mid 70s. And then as we head throughout Wednesday night into Thursday, here come the clouds, maybe a few areas of fog and some sprinkles. Nowhere near as chilly into the mid 50s, but notice the rain coming into play, especially about three o'clock in the afternoon as the cold front comes in. Showers and thunderstorms. No severe weather is expected, which is good, but we could still see some downpours from time to time. Front will sweep through by 9 o'clock on Thursday off to the east of us with some lingering rain behind it. Temperatures there into the 50s, and then once that passes by, we'll clear out briefly on Friday morning, but then we'll see the clouds kind of coming back in, lower upper level disturbance swinging by to our north Friday afternoon, and that's going to give us a little bit of some rain then. But look at the temperatures. Above our normal high is 67 today through Thursday, then they plummet down to 50s for highs as we head into Saturday. So we are going to see a big drop in temperatures there. And if you want more on that, even next week, below average temperatures the next six to 10 days. So some big changes are coming to the southeast United States for next week. So far this week, nice and warm in the 70s. There's the rain for Veterans Day that could have a few, few issues for the ceremonies there. And get ready for high temperatures only in the 50s all weekend long. So if you mapped out your final Thanksgiving travel plans ahead on the news.